you too. So, this will be a video response to uh, Vodgar 2112100. And um, my notes are down, so I'll be looking down at my notes, and I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes, like I'm going to do right now. So I'd like to first state that Vodgar 2112100. Uh, we probably agree on just about everything when it comes to atheism or religion and etc. But even when it comes to freedom, we probably relatively agree uh, agreed on freedom. But when it comes to um, absolute freedom and economic freedom and most of the politics, I'm sure we disagree on just about everything fundamentally. Like I do with most people who live in countries where uh, socialization is very evident. People generally like it. That's fine, and I will be addressing that in this video. So, I'd uh, like to start off. Uh, you know, thanks for making the video. Uh, that was a pretty good video. That it demonstrated universal health care in a very positive light, and I think universal health care actually seemingly is very positive. I like to start off saying that I I can see that health care definitely helps a lot of people. A lot of people do benefit from it, and perhaps maybe we need health care to a certain degree. Perhaps there are certain people who just cannot get health care under any circumstances, and we, they need health care right now. It may hurt us in the long run, which I'll try to demonstrate in this video, but even still, uh, maybe they need it. Maybe we do need health care. Maybe Obama's doing the right thing. But I still think ideally it'd be best if we at one point go uh, attempt to minimize government and maximize freedom if we have the wealth. Because I guess the point here is that we don't have the wealth. If we had the wealth, we could all pay for health care, and there wouldn't be an issue, but we don't have the wealth. So if we had the wealth, we should not need this uh, universal health care system. But apparently we don't. So we will see. Anyways, um, y you started your video pretty much about talking about how you don't pay for health care. The thing that I think is misleading about this point is it always acts kind of poses like it's magically free. It's not free everyone's paying for it. You're paying for it one way or another. I mean, apparently you're paying the highest taxes. I actually looked it up, you're right. Uh, I thought it was Sweden, but Denmark's taking the cake recently, I guess. So, yeah, you're paying very high taxes, uh, over 50%, I believe. So, you're, you're definitely paying for it. You're definitely paying for it. Um, and I almost feel like it's a little misleading. I know you didn't really mean it like that. I just always see people do that and, you know, talk like, well, I don't pay a dime. You pay every bit as much as we do it's just the government handles it for you. Um, let's see. You you generally give this opinion that you don't mind paying taxes. I think that's not the problem here. A lot of the problem I have with taxes is the fact that it doesn't matter if you don't mind or not. You have to pay them anyways. There's no consent with taxation. There's zero. If I say tomorrow I don't want to pay taxes, well, uh, to begin with, of course, they won't take any harsh actions. They won't just keep billing you with more money, late charges. But eventually, they're going to send, start sending people to my door or start, you know, trying to call me and get in touch with me and say, if you don't pay your taxes, there's going to be some major repercussions. And eventually, uh, men with guns, in the end, will probably come to my door and try and take me to jail so they can lock me up. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but eventually someone will coerce me. Someone will literally take me out of my house to make me pay because I didn't pay my taxes. So I find that to be ridiculous. I can't not consent to paying taxes. I must pay taxes to live in this country, but I didn't consent to them. So I find that to be that taxes are fundamentally um, immoral. Uh, the question is, do they answer by the means? Obviously you think they do, and I think that's how you would answer this, but I think they don't. And I can't say, I, I can't not pay taxes. If I stop paying taxes, I'll get in trouble with the government. But I can't consent. I can't not consent. That's always been a problem with a lot of governmental issues. It's like, well, how do I not consent? You can't consent because you're benefiting. How do I not benefit by leaving the country? But I'll just end up with another country that will ask for taxes and benefits. I can't get away from it. And if, anyways, I don't really, it's not really... Uh, plausible to become a hermit. Uh, if I want to have a career and a life, I have to actually do it inside a state. And maybe that's telling, but even still, it doesn't make it right. That's my major problem with government. From a philosophical level, it seems that it's fundamentally evil. I, I might not really mean the word evil, but fundamentally wrong. 
uh, it constantly makes the ends meet when they shouldn't. Um, continuing on, you, you said that this bring, universal healthcare brings moral conscience, and I actually can see it, it does. Knowing that everyone's going to get health care is, is, probably gives you a lot of peace of mind. And maybe it's necessary. I'll concede up front. I still don't think it's right. I still don't think it's going to be beneficial in the long run. I still think it's going to hurt us because um, government is inefficient. It always has been. Its distribution is weak. Uh, voluntary action, free market, is always going to be more efficient. So economically, we will hurt from adopting a universal health care system. But is it worth the um, moral conscious? That's uh, up to each person to decide. I think at the moment, maybe not. Maybe we need your self care system. I'm not exactly sure. But um, I think ultimately it's wrong. I think ultimately we should have it. Ultimately we should, we should have more freedom. I guess if people don't really care, then, well, they get the government they deserve. Um, continuing on, uh, you want to take care of everyone? That's nice, but what if I don't want to take care of everyone? Do I have a choice? No, I can't. I can't not consent. And that's one of my big problems with governments. You cannot consent. If you can't consent, it's immoral. Um, continuing on, you said something to the effect that people bleed in the streets in America. And I'm just going to say you just don't have not looked into much in American, uh, the American system because that doesn't happen. We have this uh, law called the um, Emergency Medical Treatment and Active Labor Act. Regardless of citizenship and ability to pay, you will get health care in emergency situations. Though I will add, this is, you know, what sicko is kind of about. Um, uh, you won't be forced to pay, but you will be discharged when you have a stable uh, condition. But the thing is, people don't die on the streets. There's very few rare cases where people actually do die because of um, issues that are similar to this. Uh, it's illegal, and if something like that happens, the hospital should be sued by the family for having immoral practices, which I'm sure happens in other nations just because um, mistakes happen. Uh, I don't know. My point is that people don't die in the streets because they don't have health care. They can get the emergency health care if they need it. Thank mm -hmm. you.